Hey everybody, it's your boy Tosagi, like back with another video, guys. You know it. Anyways, guys, today's this video is going to be a video about Harry Potter, my boy, my man, the legend, Harry P. But it's not going to be about like um, it's going to be about a video. I was I'm a part of the Harry Potter Amino app, which is if you don't know what Amino is, it's a community. It's an app where you can get or you get to talk to people from your fa from other fandoms. So like. They have a comic book Amino, they have an anime Amino, they have a Goosebumps Amino app, which I'm also a part of. Uh, I do, I'm do. i part of three of them. I was a part of anime Amino, but I got rid of it like in five minutes because it was crap and I didn't want to do it anymore um, after the five minutes. So it tells you how bad it was. <laughs> uh, um, and then um, Comics Amino. I'm part of three of them. The Comics, the Harry Potter, and the Goosebumps Amino. Uh... You get to meet people, talk to other people, you know, do quizzes, look at um, interesting shit, you know, all that type of cool stuff. And anyways, I, during one of them, they have articles on the, on the Harry Potter Amino, and one of the articles was, what would happen, what would you see happening if the American... If the wizarding communities of all around the world ever joined together, meaning like with the Mo communities, like each of them lived side by side, knowing fully well that they existed, each of them. And no, I'm not meaning like only the higher ups knew they existed. I mean like everybody in the entire population of the world knew that there were people who could s use spells. There were monsters, there were like actual creatures like dragons out there. Like, whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Like, those type of things. And how would you do that? What I think what happened was, at first, muggles would be afraid, obviously. They would be de terrified. Um, but then they would have realized that, well, if, uh, so for so many years, we lived with them peacefully, and they haven't hurt us, and they pretty much have stayed, have kept their problems to themselves. I think, that's, I think we're good, yeah. Now here's what I think would come out of it. I would I would see muggles teaching wizards more about technology. Like, I mean seriously. I mean, in Hogwarts they didn't have bath uh, actual toilets until like nineteen hundred until like nineteen hundred no like eighteen hundred and something I think or sixteen seventeen hundred or something. So meaning when wizards had to go to the bathroom they just shit themselves. I mean that's not a very clean way to live, Sonny. I mean, seriously, it's disgusting. You shit yourself, really? And then, and then probably then they magically wish their shit away out of their parents. So it's like, okay, yeah, it's gone now. I just shit myself, but it's gone. No, you shit yourself still. It doesn't matter if it's gone or not. Um, so I would say they, they probably bring in, like, you know, no longer will classes be like, you need to use a quill pen or a quill pen. No, you will use a pencil for this. And also... We want, instead of parchment, we're going to have you type out the problem. Type out this. We want a 500-page essay or a 500-word essay done in the week by tomorrow. You are all subjected to do this Word, Word document, Office Word document, and MLA-style format, please. Get you, got you guys. So it was like MSL word format, okay. All these weird and cool shit. Like we would teach them how to, you know, about planes. One second, guys. Mama making a video! Okay, well. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, what was it doing? Um, we teach them about planes. Be like, yeah. This is what this is how non-magic people fly. You got brooms? Yeah, we got we got this. They look up. That's a big broom. It ain't no broom. That's a machine. That's what we call it. Be like, oh, you you de you uh become invisible and or you morph and then you transport yourself somewhere. We use something called a car or a train. They're like, we have a train. Yes, I know you do. Well, we know you do now. And then they're like, okay, so wait a minute. And then they're like, oh, and like we tell them about, oh, you got all these cool shit. You know, like, you know, 
We give him fight. Oh, you, you don't have phones? He, this is a phone. And they're like, oh my god, a phone? They're, I mean, like, like, I'm pretty sure if they do not have phones, and then we teach them all about social media, Facebook, all that cool jazz. I mean, they might even have wizarding YouTubers. Like us. But that would be awesome. I'm just saying, I would see... It, I could see also the darker side that people might also not like sharing the world with people that are different and feel envious and want to kill them because they can't do magic. And But I'm pretty sure that would be a, a, a lesser majority, maybe a majority. I don't know. I'm just giving you what I think would be ha would be cool. Um, what they could teach us about, it, or what wizards could teach muggles about would be, I'm not a muggle, so I'm, I'm a pure blood. Slytherin, because I know every family member in my family's house, all the way up to like 1930, or no, not 18, 1801, or no, 1898, because that's as far as I can go back, or 18, oh, I know my great, 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 great grandfathers on both sides, houses that they would be in, that's the best I can give you, I can't give you like from the dawn of time, I can just give you from what time they were. Um, we got the... No, was that? Oh, freaking shit. Um, but okay, here we, go, here we go. Yeah, so we would teach... They could teach us about magical creatures and potions and... And all these cool jazz. And about, like, you know, spells. But I guess they couldn't teach us spells. But they could teach us what spells do... Um, they can teach us all these cool shit. They can even teach us about our go their government, which is, by the way, Elrimorny slash, um, what's it called? Makuza is number one. No other government or school compares. I'm sorry, Hogwarts. You're cool and all, but your name, your, your name is like an STD. Like, who the fuck wants to go to a school that sounds like it's an STD? Be base literally. There's a joke out there that says there's a pickup line like, I you know I got Hogwarts in my pants, girl. You know that? It's that's a literal joke. It's a literal pickup line like that. That that that's disgusting. It sounds disgusting. I mean, Thrumstring sounds a better name than Hogwarts. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, I'll see you in the next video, guys.